quality of our pipes is of vital importance to us. It's also quite difficult because all our pipes are under the ground. The digging is quite expensive, so it would really help us if we have a robot that can stay underground for a long time. One way or the other, such a robot uh, will be of use either for uh, smaller missions or for the large-scale uh, permanent missions. We really hope to turn it into an industrialized prototype with which we can do experiments in the real world. The robot is inserted in the grid through an entry lock, which is pressurized. It can do a first sharp T into the network, and then it will start carrying out its inspection. During this inspection, the robot is controlled by an operator. On the laptop screen, in real time, data is feedback from the robot on its state, but also on the state of the pipe. During this inspection, all this information is gathered and stored on the laptop system. Then the robot can travel back and can be retrieved through the same entry lock. The Dutch grid and also the Inexus grid is quite unique in the world. We have a very dense network with a lot of connections, a lot of turns, crossings, small diameters. And at the moment they are not quite at the end of their lifetime, but if you can postpone the renovation of the system partially for uh, say 10 years, then, then you save a huge amount of money. We believe that if you can handle our network, you can handle any network in the world. It's really difficult to get other inspection devices into our network. Yeah, you could just see all the possibilities it could have. The value of this project is twofold. One, it can do jobs that people do that will retire in about 10 years. The other value is performing inspections under difficult conditions, such as uh, under canals or when there's a, a complex to topology of your network to do multiple turns under uh, in small diameters. An inspection robot can help you do inspections on in those situations. In the minds of the people, it should be a routine inspection robot. It should not be a very experimental process anymore. And to make that step from experiment to routine uh, operation, that's the, the challenge at the moment. In the coming years, we think we will see more development of, of robots that can be used in actual situations. And we have confidence that the pipe inspection robot will be one of those products that help us deal with the challenges we have as a grid operator.